it hot? Not for long. <laughs> it hot? No. It's going to be freezing soon. In Trinidad? <laughs> you sound like a weatherman. You sound like a Trinidadian. <laughs> My name is Trini. I see. I am Oliver. It's my first time, you know. How could I tell? <laughs> I kind of nervous. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> you see the plane? You're stupid, I what? Hi <laughs> is a traveler. Something is wrong with the plane. What? It's my first time, you know. You said that already. Now what is wrong with the plane? The brakes, it's not working. Yeah, you that? <laughs> eh? How you know the brakes are working? Look, this is my first time. So when I come, I look at the plane carefully and they have some huge blocks under the wheel. No, I is a man. I have a car. My car, the brakes are working. Every time I stop, I have to put a big stop under the wheel to prevent it from moving. And they're doing the same thing to the plane. Now, Oliver, think about this thing. You and me, in the plane, in the air, pilot must the brakes and nothing happened. Hi. Don't sound stupider than you already look, you hear me? Not a thing is wrong with the brakes. Look, you see where the plane is? Yes. Where they call the so? The tarmac. Right. You know why they call it that? Because it make out a tar. <laughs> now, way over there, so where that plane is? That where one? They, yes. Where they call that? That is called the runway? Exactly. All planes need a runway. So then put a block under the wheel so that the plane don't run away. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> thanks, man. I was really stupid. Eh? If, if you listen, you'd have learned some sense. Uh, all you Trinidadians could learn a lot from we Jamaicans, you know. Sure. Tell me something. Where are you traveling to? Farin. <laughs> Excuse me? What you do this time? What you mean? Why should I excuse you? Oh, not me. It's you. I mean, where you say you're going again? I say foreign. Foreign. Well, I think we're going the same place. I go in Toronto. That's exactly where me going. But you just tell me you going foreign. You're stupid, I what? Eh? His Toronto local? No. His Toronto International? Yes. Is it overseas? Yes. Is it foreign? Yes! <laughs> exactly. Now tell me something. You have your oxygen mask? What? Ox, these first time travelers. <laughs> these first time travelers, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. You know, your government, your Trinidadian government should be paying me money for educating you, you know. <laughs> no, you listen to me. When you fly, the ear get thin. Right. The higher you fly, the thinner the ear. Uh -huh. Degree drop. Right. It get cool. Mm -hmm. Condensation take place. Relief rain come down. And then there is no oxygen to breathe in the aircraft. So what you do? I don't know. You draw for your oxygen mask. And then you exhale. <laughs> Them planes not safe then, man.
Well, most people have them on oxygen mask, you know. But you wouldn't want to put your face into their own, eh? <laughs> you know where they're coming from, sir? Huh? You know where they're coming from? Next thing you go pick up germs. A deadly virus attack your sinus traction. Um, and bam! Before you know it, before you could have take off the mask, a dead, you're dead. Yeah. You're right, boy. I mean, supposing you put on a mask and some Ebola virus hit you. Or the AIDS virus. Mm. Or worse than that, what happened if the Harris virus hit you? If that get in your mouth, is dead, you dead? Aha, uh -huh. especially that Harris virus, master. I hear say it's sweeping right through Canada and I kill half people, you know. <laughs> you wouldn't want that to catch you. No. Oh. You have an extra mask? At a fee. What happened? Like you catch the Clinton virus or what? A free trade. NAFTA. Ten dollars US. I'll go take it. Boy, you're going to be saving me from the Harris virus. We hope. We can only pray to them find a antibiotic for that thing soon. <laughs> ah, the whole of them in a anterior are going fenny. <laughs> fenny? So tell me something now. Why are you going to, um, to Toronto? Oh, I'm going to find some culture. Excuse me? What do you do now? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to see if they have any culture outside the islands. All right, stick with me. But if you want the real culture, you should be heading to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. But that's how you Trinidad and stay, you know. Always have your hype and foreign. Yeah. Uh, great, looking for expectation greater than beyond your horizons. <laughs> anyway. Hey, hey, you hear that? They're announcing the flight. Boy, they go leave me. They go leave me. Let me go, man. Chini, chini, what? <laughs> I tell you, see these first time as you know, man. <laughs> they can't leave us. That was just a first announcement, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> you look here. You know what happened? What? We better try to go up on the plane now. You understand? Yes, man. Okay. I'm right behind you. Mm. Go on in front, you go on in front. Hey, I have the window seat. You just fasten your seat belt, you hear me? <laughs> and listen now, I only hope you're not one of those persons who love to go to the toilet, you know. You mean they have toilets on board? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> the only thing is, I always wonder, when they flush it, boy, which party does go? <laughs> but I could hold my liquids like a man. Locks. The engine start. <laughs> have his mercy. <laughs> Why you say that? Huh? You traveled before, man. Why you say that? Uh, most accidents always happen and take off and landing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I have mercy. What? Wait. Hold on. Why? Why? Lord. No, 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 no. Let me go. I said, let me go. Lord, I don't know why you say this thing on this plane. It means like a Jonah. Let me go. I said, let me go. I said, let me go. Why? Why? Don't let me get swallowed by nowhere, please. Lord, Lord, don't let me die from Trinidad land. Don't let me die from Trinidad land. Lord, take me back to Jamaica. I said, let me go. Lord, I don't know why it's a Trinidadian, but take me to Jamaica too, please. What did they do? What did they do? Lord, where the parachute? Where the, where the, where the, where the, where the, where the life jacket? I don't know. Where the life vest? I said, what did they do? 
Open. What? Oliver! Yeah. Yeah. Look! Outside! We ain't even leave the land yet! <laughs> What? We ain't leave the land yet. We don't leave the land yet. Lady, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 no. Take back this straight jacket. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> Look, Stewardess, you have a bottle of white rum? Give me one shot. One shot? Stewardess, bring the whole damn back. <laughs> all this time we don't even leave the ground yet. <laughs> Look, man. Just close your eyes. Relax. Think you're in Jamaica. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Life relaxing. You driving down Coronation Market. Coronation Market? Your mother what? Just bring the rum, come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bring the rum, come. Oh. Hey, we in the air, boy. <laughs> Look, it's pretty. Mm -mm. Look at that water! You could swim? You're mad, you know. You know, <laughs> you're really mad, Fitch. <laughs> Which Caribbean person you know can swim? <laughs> Massa, all we do is play play in the water. <laughs> Swim what? <laughs> Laugh. If this plane land in that water, I go see how quick you will learn how to swim. I as a man could take care of myself, you know. I could do the backstroke. Backstroke. You know a lot of people in Toronto, boy? Everybody. You sure? I'm a liar. You want me to answer that? <laughs> when I reach the Taranto, you will know. Oh boy. I think you're going to have to excuse me, you know. I have to do some numbers. If you think me get him up out of this seat here, you make a sad mistake. And if you want to do numbers, consult your calculator.